Hi Libra! Welcome to Live in the Solution. I am your astrologer and tarot card reader Mary Trimble here with your reading for February the 17th through the 23rd. <laughs> These are general readings guys. They are for the collective so take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you would like a more tailored, in-depth reading, you may click on this link here and that will take you to my website. And you can see the kind of readings that I offer. Okay, this is for Libra. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings and help information can you give Libra through these cards for February the 17th through the 23rd? Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards. Oh, that's too many. Look at that. There was too many there. I'm not even going to go for one of them. Because about ten fell out. <laughs> More than ten, I think. Okay, so we're going to start again. Three cards for Libra, please. One. Oh, there's two here. Is that, there's three. Three cards came out in one. I love that. Okay, we're going to do this. One, two, and three. Okay, now we're going to go to clarifying cards for Libra. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Libra through these clarifying cards for February the 17th through the 23rd? Okay, one more time. This is for Libra. These are clarifying cards. One more shuffle. Okay, what wonderful gifts, guidance and blessings. What information can you give Libra through these clarifying cards? February the 17th through the 23rd. Please clarify the world. Oh, there we go. Please clarify the three. Oh, there we go. And please clarify the high priest. There it is. Okay. Oh, no way. All right, Libra. The first card out for you is the world. I love the world. When the world comes in, it is saying that you have an opportunity to change the trajectory of your life. What would you like to do? You know, this can this comes in when you're ready to embark on your life purpose. Um, so, you know, what have you been always wanting to do? What lights what what lights a fire? What feeds your soul? What do you love to do? It doesn't have to be lucrative, it doesn't have to have anything to do with money. Um, but now's the time to kind of do to do that or to do some research, you know, to, to small steps make something a reality. Sometimes what seems so impossible, when you take small steps towards it, it suddenly becomes possible and very real. So when the world comes in, look, you can continue doing the same old things and get the same old results. Do you want something different? Do you want something more out of life? If so, you need to do something different. And, and this change that you do will be backed by the universe, by source, by God, by spirit, whatever you choose to call your deity or your faith. And clarifying the world is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is payday, darling. So you make this change, this big change. You are getting paid. This is a very auspicious time. It's really you. you it, 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 it's almost like it's lucrative for you to make this change. Is I think it. Look, if it was me, I'd make the change. 
or I'm not saying like you quit your job and then you just start on your life purpose. That would be irresponsible. I would never, never say that. Never do that. But you can always do the research and you can set it up and nothing should be started per se at this time anyway in actions, but you can plan to make that change. So put a plan of action together um, and start doing that research. And the next card out for you, darling, is the Three of Swords. I mean, look, it's iconic, this. This is like a heart with three swords pierced in it. This is pain. You know, there's no two ways about it. This is pain. This is a pain that, you know, is an old pain. It's been installed very long, so from a very early age. Um, this, look, a situation can can uh, bring this pain forward. It can be, a, you know, look, it can be lose, losing a lover. This can be a bereavement too. Um, you know, you've lost someone from this physical plane and somebody could have passed away or you might have lost, um, you know, your relationship may have ended or you've lost a friendship in, in some way. Perhaps somebody's, this is a pain. I'm really getting that for you guys, uh, that it's a pain of loss. Um, and when this card comes up, when the Three of Swords comes into a reading, it's asking you to embrace this pain and feel it. Don't avoid it because the there's more pain in avoidance. Um, and it can come out in different ways. So you really need to kind of take it in, feel the pain, cry it out, and then release it. It's like embody this pain. You've got this. Look, I always think of this pain as the pain body, right? Um, you know, Eckhart Tolle talks about the pain body and the New Earth Awakening and the power and the power of now. And it's a, this pain body that needs to be fee fed. You know it. It feeds off pain. It's comfortable in pain and it creates pain in, in in our lives, right? But then when we become aware of it, it doesn't have that power and it can't create it. We don't choose the wrong people to be in relationships with who will just, you know, reject us or they're not emotionally available or, you know, because we always tend to, you know, if we look at our patterns, sometimes we tend to choose the same people that are not necessarily the best for us. Um but I am getting that this is, you know, I feel that some of you are perhaps mourning. Um, and this can be mourning a relationship that's no longer in your life. You know, you go through a mourning process. You really do. You know, they're alive, but you've lost them and they have cut, you know, tethered any ties to you. And this reminds me of, you know, when this card comes in, I would say, to, you know, cut the cords don't be don't be attached to this person any longer. Uh, so, you know, do a clearing and in meditation, cut that cord once and for all so you're not tied to that pain. So you're releasing it. And clarifying the three of swords is the four of swords. So this is the next step, right? It's the next step from the Three of Swords. And this is exhaustion, you know, because the Three of Swords is exhausting, right? So you really, you know, that pain and going through it and all the turmoil and, the, and the, you know, you feel it. I mean, that pain, this pain, the Three of Swords is a physical pain. You know, it starts in the mind, but it's physical. You feel it in your body. It's a horrible feeling. Um, so the Four of Swords is saying, listen, you need you need to rest from this. You need to let this go, cut that cord and sleep. Honestly, sleeping is the best way to heal emotionally, spiritually and physically. So just go to sleep. <laughs> Get enough sleep. Make sure that you're sleeping well at night. Make sure you're sleeping long enough. Um, don't be up watching the television. You know, rest Get hydrated, feed yourself, you know, happy food, healthy food. Do something that's good for you. It's like you need replenishing. That's the word I'm getting. Replenish your energy. And the next card out for you is the uh, 
the high priest. Now, the high priest is, he's the pope in another deck, or he's the um, hierophant, right? And the high priest is all about having faith. He's trusting in your faith, going back to your faith, understanding that everything is happening for a reason. Don't lose faith during this time. Uh, it's like trust in your in the power of source energy of the universe, whatever you choose to call your deity or your faith, but go back to that and know that this is happening for a reason and that you are going to come out of this triumphantly. You must trust that this is all going to work out well for you. And um, clarifying the Hierophant is the Nine of pentacles. So this is saying, look, I'm really getting that you're nearly at the finish line. Things, look, you know what they, that all, I love that saying. They say, everything is going to be all right in the end. If it's not all right, it's not the end. <laughs> I love that. that keeps me going a lot of times, honestly. So you're almost at the finish line. Look, you're nearly there. You've got the nine of pentacles. There's opulence. There's abundance. You are nearly, you're on the home run. Don't give up. Have faith. You're going to get to the finish line. Everything's going to be all right, Libra. Have faith and don't worry. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And please stay tuned for the astrological report coming up next. Mwah! I love you all. And I'll see you on the other side. Hello, everyone. I'm really happy that you stayed tuned for the astrological report to see what's happening in the celestial sky this week. Uh, the week of... February the 17th through to the 23rd. Um, now, Monday, hopefully you will have these readings up by Monday. I've been a little in Neptunian energy of daydreaming and create. I did these readings in my head, <laughs> but now I'm getting down to it. Um, so Monday's President's Day, no school, darling, so you can all sleep in and I hope you're all having a fabulous time. And uh, Tuesday on February the 18th, the sun moves into Pisces. So happy birthday, Pisces. So we're moving from the air sign of Aquarius, the sign of innovation, tribal, all-inclusive, thinking outside the box, revolutionary, um, a non Formist rebelliousness um, and the fixed energy of Aquarius into the laid back, dreamy, creative, <laughs> fantasizing, mutable energy of Pisces, where time just doesn't seem to exist. <laughs> Pisces just has no awareness of time. Pisces is a free-flowing, sensitive, um, dare I say, uh, intuitive and psychic energy. And on the downside, it can be a little foggy or muggy or kind of indecisiveness and not reading the situation right and kind of uh, unrealistic idealism. Um, and the, you know, the, with the inability to make decisions. So that's the downside of Pisces. But when we raise our vibration, when we meditate and we come from a higher, uh, our higher selves, then we can embody all the positiveness of uh, Pisces because, you know, it's very ethereal. We can connect with the ethereal realm, with spirit, with um, uh, with source energy. Thursday, February the 20th, 20th Jupiter is sextile to Neptune. So it's, it's point, I'm mentioning this because Neptune rules Pisces, right? So this is, uh, and Neptune is in Pisces and Jupiter is the planet of bigger, better, more. So this is a one 
wonderful energy if you're a writer or in the visual arts anything kind of creative will really flourish in this energy i always say let's co-create with the universe right so ride the crest of the wave start looking at your creative projects i mean it can be you know you could be making clothes or you know painting a picture or writing a story or creating a video um, do something that um, is creative because this is the energy for it to come out um, successfully now on friday the 21st mars um, is trine uranus now this transit is energetic it's active it's exciting it's electric um, and you may have the need for speed <laughs> I've got the need for speed. Listen, opportunities flow towards you. You've got to be quick to the mark though, right? You've got to grab these. And also trust your instinct during this time. Um, go with what feels right. You may have the urge to take risks and this, um, these, you know, taking risks at this time will most likely pay off. So it's probably a good time if you're going to take a risk to do so now. Um, this transit can also play out romantically. You might meet someone and the chemistry can be off the charts. It's a very um, high libido <laughs> kind of energy coming in. Um, but the uh, dalliances that you may engage in probably will not have uh, any long-term lasting power with them. So just enjoy them. Enjoy it. Uh, now, on Sunday, February the 23rd, we have the new moon in Pisces. Um, wow. Well, listen, I'll just mention quickly that I do have a Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group. And every two weeks I do a live food, a live, a live food, a live feed <laughs> in the group um, uh, for either the new moon or the full moon, respectively. And whoever shows up, we look at their horoscope and we see how they are receiving uh the new this energy from either the new moon or the full moon respectively so the link to all that will be below check that out and um wow this um this is a sensitive intuitive energy right because we've all we've got the sun in pisces we have a stellium of planets in Sp pisces and we have a stellium of planets in Capricorn. This is earth and water, which is quite um, compatible, but there's so much going on here and there's so much, so many energies. We really have to keep our vibration high during this time because we want to take advantage of the higher octaves of these planets. And in order to do that, we must raise our vibration so that we can get some moaning, complaining, um, you know, bursts of anger, that's not going to get you anywhere. And listen, at the same time as this uh, new moon in Pisces, we have uh, Uranus in Taurus is trining the new moon. You know, and, and we I have to mention, those of you who don't know, the new moon is when the sun and the moon are together. So it's uh, Uranus is trining the sun and the moon. And so is Mars. Mars is trining the sun and the moon uh, from... Uh, on the other side from Capricorn and this is uh, and not only that we have the south node right next to Capricorn so this is kind of the past it's kind of karmic right this is a karmic energy and Mars is out of bounds and when a planet is out of bounds it's like a wild card right out of bounds is when it's kind of gone a little further off um, in latitude from its usual uh, elliptical course, right? So this is a wild card. So Mars is the planet of war, you know, it's the planet of action too. So we have to be careful uh, not to overreact to things and not to react, but to respond and, and take a moment, right? Not, you know, um, take a moment to really uh, respond um, appropriately so we can get frustrated we can be annoyed with people 
Um, but if we if we really meditate and we really raise our vibration, no matter what your meditation is, you know, um, uh, you know, practice meditation at this time. It's really going to center you, and you really will be a lot more even, and you'll be more um, centered and grounded. This energy is very intuitive. It's very um, uh, psychic, you know, trust your gut instincts, really, this is electrifying energy, it's magnetic, it's sexual, it's, um, that has an ethereal quality, this is a perfect time to connect with source, with spirit, with your guides, it really is, you, if you can quiet your mind, your mind, you'll hear the messages coming to you, um, Uranus is, you know, connected to Kundalini, right? So we, it, you know, it's really good to do kind of Kundalini yoga or kind of any breathing exercises that's going to kind of clear out that energy that will also help with the outer bounds Mars, right? It's going to, you know, you can release that pent up energy and frustration through breathing um, techniques. Um, and there are lots out there, do some research. Um, so we want to connect with the positive aspects of these planets. So we want to keep our vibration as high as possible. That's all we, that's what we must remember. If we remember nothing else, it's raise your vibration, come from a place of love, connect with, you know, your heart energy. Pisces is mutable. So it just kind of flows wherever, where, you know, if the, if it's downhill, it just flows through cracks and cracks. So you want to meld all these energies. You want to, you want to unify all these energies. You want to encompass it all in the highest possible vibration. Um, so guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, uh, I now have a membership. Uh, please join my channel. And there are two tiers right now. There's uh, one for $1.99 a month and you'll get special stickers and emojis that you can use during live feeds and that will get your question answered quicker and and give you priority and also um, there's a 499 membership and that gives you behind the scenes and special videos and bloopers and all kinds of you know other things that i haven't thought about yet but i'm working on it <laughs> um so that would really help this member supported channel if you would join uh, that and join my Facebook group and all the links to all the other videos will be below and what else um, please don't forget to like share comment and if you haven't already please subscribe Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week